Hi. Um, today we are learning uh, how to calculate pH. Uh, this is a simple calculation about pH. Uh, to calculate pH of a simple solution whereby you have only one type of substance in the solution. The calculation is going to be very, very easy. Uh, first of all, uh, they give you a certain question, then you must make sure there is only one substance in that solution. If you encounter such a solution, then what you, what you need to do to calculate pH is very simple. You have, you need only three formulas. Formula number one, concentration of H plus equals to square root of Ka times concentration of the acid. This is if the solution is acidic, then you use formula number one. Formula number two is concentration of OH minus equals to square root of Kb times concentration of base. This is if the solution is uh, basic or alkaline. The third formula is Kw equals to Ka times Kb. So, um, sometimes they give you a Kb of a, a weak base, then you were asked to, sub, you, you, you need to calculate Ka of the conjugate acid of that base. So, you might need to formula, you need to use formula number three. Uh, same thing, this formula number 3 is also used when uh, they give you a Ka of a weak acid and you need to calculate Kb of a conjugate base of that acid. We are going to uh, use this, we are going to use this formula later on. Now, uh, you see here, uh, I make the question in the form of this table, it's going to be very easy. Uh, one row on this table represents one solution. For example, on the first row, uh, I give the question here is CH3COH, which is ethanoic acid. Then I give the value of the concentration of CH3COH and the Ka also. Um, the first thing we need to do for this type of question is to um, find out what type of what type of substance is in that solution like this C3COH is actually a weak acid you can recognize easily so similarly C3CO and A is the conjugate base of that weak acid so either you call it the conjugate base or you can also call it a weak base how about NH3? NH3 is a weak base of course how about NH4Cl? how about NH4Cl? NH4Cl is the conjugate acid of NH3 so we call it either we call it conjugate acid or a weak acid uh, HNO3 and NaOH is easy for us to recognize HNO3 is a strong acid whereby sodium hydroxide is a strong base if you encounter a strong acid or strong base in the solution then the calculation is going to be even easier if you encounter a strong acid then Ka value will be theoretically infinity and you don't even need to calculate the same thing for NaOH the Kb value theoretically infinity and you don't need to calculate so let's start with um, the first row here you recognize that it's a weak acid 
concentration is given 0.2 mole per dm cube. Ka is also given 2 times 10 power negative 6 mole per dm cube. Uh, we were asked to calculate pH. So, easy concentration of H mass. Of course, we apply formula number one. So, square root of 2 times 10 power negative 6 times 0 0.2, you're going to get 6.32 times 10 power negative 4. Once you know the concentration of H plus, we can calculate the pH easily. So negative log of the answer, 3.20. This is easy, of course. How about the second row? We know that this is a conjugate base or a weak base. In the question, sometimes they give you Ka only the Ka of ethanoic acid they don't give you Kb for sodium ethanoate so very simple use formula number 3 so Kb is Kw over Ka so 1 times 10 power negative 14 divided by the Ka value uh, don't forget to put bracket in the calculator 2, two times 10 power negative 6 yes so we get 5 times 10 power negative 9 which formula should we apply? of course we should apply formula number 2 because it is a uh, weak base because the solution is slightly basic so the concentration of OH minus we apply the formula square root of uh, that number 5 times 10 power negative 9 times 0 0.1 so is 2.24 times 10 power negative 5 once we know the concentration of OH minus we can easily calculate POH so negative log of that number is 4.65 and of course we know how to calculate pH which is 14 minus that number 9.35 so uh, once you know that the solution is acidic we can use formula number one and once you know the solution is slightly alkaline, we can use formula number two. Similarly, uh, you, you already recognize that NH3 is a weak base, concentration is given, KB also given. Uh, the solution is slightly alkaline. We use formula number two, square root of 1.8 times 10 power minus 6 times 0.08 we get 3.79 times 10 power negative 4 POH is of course negative log of that number which is 3.42 pH also very very easy uh, 14 minus 3.42 so 10 point uh, 58 yes similarly uh, NH4Cl is a conjugate acid uh, usually the question uh, information given is Kb of NH4Cl which is one, in this case is 1.8 times 10 power negative 6 so we use formula number 3 uh, we use formula number 3 so one Ka is Kb over Kw, so one times ten power negative fourteen divided by uh, don't forget the bracket one point eight times ten power negative six. So you get five point five six 
10 power negative 9 mole per meter cube and to calculate the concentration of H plus we use formula number 1 uh, square root of that number times the concentration which is 0 0.05 uh, then we get uh, 1.67 times 10 power negative 5 and of course to calculate the to calculate the pH is very very easy negative log of that number is we get 4.78 so uh, by using these three formula we can calculate most of them how about the fifth row here, when you have strong acid, uh, you're going to see that it's even easier for you to calculate that. You don't even need Ka and you don't even need to use formula number one or number two. Uh, HNO3 is a mono basic acid, so we just copy the concentration of H plus. The concentration of H plus will be the same as the concentra concentration of HNO3. So 0 0.0002 then pH we just negative log of that number. Three point seven zero. Um, similarly, any which is a strong base. So the concentration concentration of OH minus is same as concentration of NaOH. So 0 0.001. If you're good at indices, you know how to calculate the pOH. Very simple. It will be 3, which means the pH will be 11. So uh, uh, this. The one that I'm teaching now here is a simple calculation uh, for simple pH calculation if in that solution you con it contains only one substance. We use three formulas only. Uh, after seeing this, you might um, you might download some of my ebooks so you can uh, calculate. So you can calculate, uh, you can do this type of exercises, right? Check out my website at www.singaporestudent.com. Thank you.